What is your problem? Seriously, what is your problem? Before bashing Helena, you guys need to remember that this kind of show is heavily scripted. They're probably friends in real life. Hi, it's Melissa Ting, radio host, MC, and content creator. And actually, another thing that I have done that I don't usually mention is that I was actually the first uh, Malaysian representative on Asia's Next Top Model Season 1. Um, and the reason why I'm mentioning it today is because actually a friend of mine, she sent me this video that she saw online. It's called The Girl Who Didn't Look Like a Model, Asia's Next Top Model Season 1, OMG Moments. And I decided to react to it. Okay, so I got it all set up on my laptop right now. And we're gonna watch it together. I'm actually quite nervous. I don't know how I feel about this. Anyways, let's just do it. I have been trying to be a model since I was 13 years old. If you look at Melissa, she's so short. She woke up one day and she saw that there's, oh, there's a competition I'm going to enter. She has no passion for it. I don't understand what she's doing here. I don't know why, just because someone has been doing this for a longer time, it means that the person who just started it more recently is not as passionate. Um, does that mean that like Vera Wang is not passionate about designing gowns because she started much later? You know what I mean? I don't know if I fully agree with that lah, but okay and like i know i'm short i don't need you to tell me that i'm short i don't need you to like call that out like uh, i don't know lah. anyways melissa she doesn't realize but we're always laughing because sorry i just need to say uh, it always does not sound nice to hear someone saying that melissa doesn't realize this but we're all laughing at her like behind my back i'm like wow that feels great She'll have a bowl of noodles for breakfast, then she'll have three slices of toast. This is still breakfast. Some chips, maybe a couple of crackers, some orange juice, some tea, and that will be her breakfast. But she just eats and eats and eats and eats all the time. What is your problem? Seriously, what is your problem if I want to eat? If I'm hungry, if I need a big breakfast, what is your problem? I'm not taking any of your food you know what i mean like i'm not asking you to cook it what is your problem if i like to eat and in case you didn't know right malaysians we really like to eat lah okay when we're hanging out with our friends we meet to eat and then after that also we have dessert okay we just eat a lot and i don't see what the problem is just because you want to eat like one piece of lettuce doesn't mean that i have to do that like let me live lah suka hati aku ah yo aku lapar aku makan je lah I'm just very surprised that Melissa is still here. I know. Very big shock. Art, courtesy of Rachel. Ta-da! No offense, but you need to look like a model. You feel good? It was a very close call. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think you're doing so well. I said that from the beginning. She's a very pretty girl, but she's not a model. Models are walking pieces of art, and she is not. Wow, that was quite mean. I kept on telling you, you have progressed so much and six girls have gone home and you're still here. I just noticed this, right? So I was just minding my business, hanging out with my friend Jessica, and she comes up to us and becomes shady because she's saying nice things to my face. But behind my back, she's like, oh, Melissa's not a model. She's not a working piece of art. Okay. What's happening? Honestly, what's happening? I, I personally feel like emotionally traumatized to an extent. This Melissa many years ago, I didn't say what was actually going on because I believed in not talking badly about other people. So even when I was being treated badly, I did not say on camera, even when they asked me, even when they saw it and they asked me what was going on, I did not say it. Why, Melissa? Why? You're such a baby. Never stand up for yourself. Let people bully you. I can't. I really can't. It's just so annoying to watch myself when I was younger. I mean, I know I've grown. It's just not me to talk negatively about someone. And I was. I feel like I was trying to be very diplomatic about it. Helena is... I don't know, maybe through the body languages, you can just kind of sense a bit of tension there. Like, even now, there's a lot of things that could be said. But I'm... That's just not the kind of person I am. And I'm not going to say those things. But like, you know... Ah, oh, it's just very frustrating because it looks so weak and I'm just like It just makes me feel like a little rabbit sitting in the road and people are just like bullying this little rabbit And I just I feel like I'm taking on the responsibility and it's very frustrating for me to to see myself not 
stand up for myself. I just hate being the victim. I'm not a victim. Well, yeah, I guess I've seen it. To me, I feel like it's weird. Like you don't yeah, treat people you don't need that. To do that. Yeah. Right. You, to me personally, like I, I don't care what story she gives because it's like I don't believe it. I really appreciate Sophia standing up for me when I couldn't stand up for myself back then. And to be completely fair, all cards on the table. Um, a lot of the girls did reach out to me over the past few years, and they did apologize uh, for not standing up for me or for defending her or like you know. But the point is. They apologized, and I accepted it. We're cool now, I love them. Um, so yeah, just wanted to update you. I feel very personally attacked. I keep getting this over and over and over again. I don't think I deserve this. You know what I mean? I don't think it's fair for me to get like this. I really don't think it's fair to me. It's, it's not. not fair. It's not, it's not. Just because I'm smiling doesn't mean like, you know, I don't feel it. Watching this even a little bit, like it makes me feel very... There's a lot of shame because like, like literally the whole world is watching me get bullied and it's like immortalized, you know what I mean? Because when you're part of the top model legacy, like everybody is going to be watching these things on YouTube forever or if they decide to whip up and watch all your old episodes, like everybody can watch you get bullied and it's not nicer, you know what I mean? I feel... I don't know, I guess to some extent I feel like back then I felt like bad because I wasn't like skinny and I, I'm not tall, like I can't lose weight overnight, I can't have a growth spurt overnight and it's just very frustrating to be like like being picked on for that, you know, like body shaming me, fat shaming me, I I don't know like how I I don't know how to feel about it. I read one of the comments that said that if this show had aired like now, you know, some people would be cancelled for fat shaming and body shaming me, you know. And I do feel like back then it wasn't it wasn't a thing. Like I didn't realize it. I just thought, okay, I'm fat, then you call me fat, then what am I gonna do, right? But like looking back, I don't think it's very nice. And I I just wish I could have stood up for myself a bit better. I think there's a lot of me feeling very embarrassed because I couldn't articulate and stand up for myself. <sighs> Beautiful. I honestly keep on thinking every elimination, okay, Melissa's gone, Melissa's gone, but she's constantly improving, 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 so it's quite a shock. Imagine a wrong time here. I've been battling with all these shadows and, you know, people doubting me the whole time. I remember this shoot so clearly because I feel like back then, right, I couldn't understand myself. I am a quirky, fun, um, expressive girl. Like my personality is really good for like, um, like videos. I'm very like, you know what I mean? I'm very lively. And so I guess during the brief when they're like, oh look, an orangutan. And I was like, oh, oh my god. That's how I normally genuinely would react. But I think that, um, you know, they're looking for a mom model, but like, oh, an orangutan. Wow, I must take a photo. No, see, even that last bit, that was, that was more me. Let's read some of the comments actually. I wonder what people are saying. Let's check. <laughs> Before bashing Helena, you guys need to remember that this kind of show is heavily scripted. They're probably friends in real life. <coughs> Ashraf Majid said, I don't know how is Helena's career is now, but in Malaysia, Melissa has a good career. I saw her in a lot of advertisements. She is a good and funny model turned DJ and host here. She did a lot of jobs, not just here, but also overseas. Aww. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing not bad, guys. I hope you're proud of me. So, in Malaysia, I'm a radio host on HITS, which is Malaysia's number one English station in the country. So, I'm really excited because it's something that I didn't even think I could possibly even get on, which is very exciting. And I also have my dream job, which is hosting in English and Malay for, like, events, for, like, live streams. And it's, it's been really good, like, I'm really happy. And now, so, if you check on, like, my Instagram or my YouTube, on my TikTok, I'm also creating content. I'm constantly posting up videos, um, photos, trying to entertain a lot of people. So I'm, I'm happy. You know what I mean? I'm really happy. Also, I do some voiceovers on like radio commercials sometimes. Um, but I'm, I'm happy. Like, I just really hope you guys are proud of me, especially those people who were rooting for me when they were watching me on Asia's Next Top Model. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, this poor little girl. I hope she does well. So anybody who even believed in me a little bit. I just want to make you proud like, and I just want to make my parents proud. She's not even very proud on Instagram while Melissa is. <laughs> is it? Is it? I don't follow her. I don't know. I don't check. I don't know. I'm just living my life. Um, but that's good to know that I'm very fine. Whoosh! 
Oh, I love this. Solarize said, sorry, but I think her entering and not giving a crap is literally the most badass move. Thank you! Okay, I want to end this on a happier note. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And I will see you at the next few videos that I do for you. And remember, don't body shame people. Don't fat shame people. Okay, you traumatize them terribly. Luckily, I come from a family with like lots of love. And like my best friends are like, like psychologists and they really love me. You know what I mean? So everyone takes care of me. But you know, I don't think everyone has that privilege. So let's just... Always be nice to people. Ah, if you got a choice to be mean or be nice, just be nice, okay? I love you. Mwah. See you soon.